This week's ingredient comes from Isaac in Vancouver, British Columbia. He wants to know, what the heck is steric acid doing in a soap? Meet steric acid. At room temperature, it's a solid, flaky white substance that looks a lot like laundry detergent, but without the fresh country scent. And it's no wonder, as a member of the fatty acid family, it's a close cousin to vinegar with its distinctly sour smell. Pew. Steric acid is found naturally in plant oils and moo, animal fats. All right, vegans and vegetarians, listen up. Cosmetic companies don't have to tell you if they use steric acid from animals on the label, so contact the company when in doubt. This is steric acid on the molecular level. Horizontally, it's reminiscent of something you may have learned about in high school health class. <laughs> Hold it right side up, and it sort of looks like an electrified lollipop. Like all members of the fatty acid family, it has a water-loving head and a long, oil-loving tail. But what makes stearic acid unique? The secret lies in the number of carbons found in its tail. Stearic acid has 18 carbons. It's this shape and structure that gives this ingredient some really cool capabilities. So where can we see stearic acid work its magic? Let's let the smell of camphor, menthol, and eucalyptus take us back to the 1990s. Doodly doo, doodly doo, doodly doo, doodly doo, doodly doo. It's the era of frosted pink lips, poof bangs, and of course, Noxema. Instead of obsessing over Beverly Hills 90210, Teenage Miss B is reading the labels on her products. Do you know what the main ingredients are in Noxema? Water and stearic acid. So we Check it out. Stick your finger in Noxema and hear a little crunch. You are breaking the surface of crystallized steric acid. The cream on your finger has a shiny, pearlized look. This is steric acid as an opacifier. So Noxema is not a clear liquid. It's a thick cream with flecks of crystals. Did anyone say rhinestones? Steric acid is a weak emulsifier. This is why the cream separates when it's stirred. This provides me hours of entertainment when I'm bored. Lastly, the biggest feature totally can't be seen, at least not without a microscope. Steric acid's water-loving head and oil-loving tail deliver a beauty aid that is both a moisturizer and a cleanser. Meanwhile, back in the 21st century. Boy, teenage me was a handful. As beauty moves into the future, steric acid still finds a place. For example, we've all heard of Dove Beauty Bar's tagline. Contains a quarter of moisturizing cream. Can you guess what that moisturizing cream is? Yep, that's right, it's stearic acid. Moisturizers work by leaving a thin layer of oil on the skin, trapping water inside. Without stearic acid to thicken the mixture, Dove's Beauty Bar would be a pile of liquid goo. Thankfully for stearic acid's 18 carbon tail, we have an upside of a fur and beauty bar with the downside of less lather. Steric acid is everywhere. It's in deodorants, toothpaste, sunscreens, lotions, mascaras, and foundations. Want to talk more about this ingredient? Then post your thoughts in the comment section below. Want to hear about another ingredient? Then give me something to work with. Write me at askmeatmissbeautifile.com. The next ingredient I review could be the one that you requested.